let's discuss this question next what does the question say sin x by 2 cos x by 2 and tan x by 2 have been found wherein it is given that sin x is equal to 1 by 4 x lies in the second quadrant now what happens in the second quadrant is this is 0 this is pi by 2 this is pi this is 3 pi by 2 in the second quadrant we have these two points x is less than pi greater than pi by 2 okay what about x by 2 since also we also require x by 2 x by 2 will be less than pi by 2 greater than pi by 4 this is what happens over here x by 2 lies in the first quadrant this is pi by 4 this is pi by 2 x by 2 lies over here in the first quadrant whereas x lies in the second quadrant okay so for x by 2 you can observe these three values will all be positive okay what about sin x equals 1 by 4 if sin x is equal to 1 by 4 can i relate this sin x to any of these trigonometric functions directly you may observe that uh, it's not easy sin x by 2 cos x by 2 and tan x by 2 there's no direct equation. but i can convert this sin x in terms of cos x and that cos x can be related to this so let's do that cos square x is equal to 1 minus sin square x okay this is 1 minus 1 by 16 which becomes 15 by 16 can you observe this and therefore cos x becomes square root of 15 by 4 let me write it as square root of 15 by 4 or minus square root of 15 by 4 which of these values will you consider x lies in the second quadrant sin x is positive but cos x will be negative this is okay this is not okay so from here i get the value of cos x first therefore cos x is equal to minus square root of 15 over 4 but were we asked cos x no we were asked to find cos x by 2 sin x by 2 and tan x by 2 remember the formula for cos 2x 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta 1 minus cos 2 theta is 2 sin square theta right right let's use this formula so therefore 2 cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta which implies cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta upon 2 implies cos square x by 2 over here x by 2 is what you are interested in and x is what is given to us 1 by 2 times 1 plus cos x what is that 1 by 2 is okay 1 plus cos x 1 plus this is 1 minus root 15 by 4 this is what you have right this is what you have this gives me cos x by 2 will be equal to under root of that okay what you have over here is 4 minus root. let's simplify that 4 minus the square root of 15 over 8 is what i have over there please note that 4 minus square root of 15 over 8 and we take the under root we take the plus or the minus cos x by 2 is equal to plus or minus this okay now since x by 2 lies in the first quadrant obviously the positive value will be considered negative value will be rejected therefore cos x by 2 is equal to what plus square root of okay let's write the simplified version 4 minus square root of 15 over square root of 8 which is 2 root 2 right this is what you get obviously we can multiply and divide by raised root 2 by rationalize for rationalizing this denominator this root 2 will get a can can be multiplied in the numerator and denominator what you get is inside the root you will get 8 minus root 30 that's me that's what you get cos of x by 2 without rationalizing this is the answer right this is cos x by 2 what about sin x by 2 we can find sin x by 2 as well x by 2 lies in the first quadrant remember that and with the help of that cos x we can find sin x by 2 let's do that sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 since we know this since we know this so implies sin square x by 2 will be equal to 1 by 2 is okay 1 minus cos x is what you'll have this is what you have right instead of theta i have written x by 2 cos x is minus root 15 by 4 this is 1 by 2 1 plus root 15 over 4 is what you get right please note this carefully what next this gives me sin x by 2 is plus or minus square root of a huge quantity what is that this is 4 plus square root of 15 divided by 8 you observe this yes 
and which value will you consider? Will you consider the plus value or the minus value? We know that x by 2 lies in the first quadrant, therefore we'll consider the first one, plus, plus value. Sin x by 2 is equal to plus square root of 4 plus square root of 15 divided by 2 root 2. We can multiply and divide by root 2 to rationalize this denominator as well, but then leave the answer at this stage as well. Once you have done this much, what next? Cos x by 2, sin x by 2 are okay. What next is tan x by 2. Let's find tan x by 2 as well. Rationalization is something which you can do on your own, right? Next, tan x by 2 is sin x by 2 over cos x by 2. Okay, what does that become? This is plus square root of 4 plus root 15. Upon 2 root 2 and upon 2 root 2 will get cancelled. This is root of 4 minus root 15. Okay, this is what I get. Looks pretty complicated to me. Let's simplify this. And here I will rationalize this complete expression. Let's try and rationalize this. What do I have? What do I get over here? This is 4 plus root 15. This is 4 minus root 15. But both are in the under root. So let's multiply it with 4 minus root 15 first of all. First of all, let's multiply it with 4 minus root 15 square. So what you get is under root of 4 plus root 15. Under root of 4 minus root 15 over this is 4 minus root 15. That's the first step that I apply. Right? Okay, you want to remove the root. Instead of removing the root, we could have moved in this direction also. We can multiply with the conjugate of this quantity in the denominator, which is 4 plus root 15. Let's do that. Under root, under root of 4 plus root 15. What do you get? This is 4 plus root 15 in the numerator. In the denominator, you get under root of 16 minus 15, which is under root of 1. This is 4 plus root 15. Oh, that's pretty simple. That's pretty simple. This is 4 plus root 15 in the numerator. Therefore, tan x by 2 is 4 plus root 15. That is my answer for this question, as you can see. Right? We have found cos x by 2, we have found sin x by 2, and we have found tan x by 2 as well. Rationalization of this, this here, and similarly cos x by 2 is something which you can do. I am hoping that you can do. The result would look something like this. In the denominator, you will get 2 times 2 is 4. And since you have multiplied root 2, and root is already there, under root of this will become 8, and into 2, this will become 2 root 15. Similarly, in the cos x, what you will get is, 8 minus 2 root 15 upon 4, right? That's what you get. And that's all in this question over here. With this, we come to the conclusion of this miscellaneous exercise of trigonometric functions. Yes, this is the end of trigonometric functions, chapter number 3 of class 11th mathematics. <sighs> Remain with us for further updates, further videos based on NCRD solutions. Also, subscribe to our channel of Vyasa Edification for these latest updates. Till the next session, all the best.